For anyone who's played games in the past, many people actually believe that they own these items until they don't. When the game shuts down, or if someone's trying to sell their items, they realize actually they're not allowed to. Which means that gamers today do not have any property rights at all. And when we saw that, we said, maybe this is where the future should be. My name is Yatsu. I'm the chairman and co-founder of Animoco Brands. Animoco Brands today is a company that is focused on delivering true digital property rights. Originally, in 2014, when we started, we were a mobile games company, basically making branded mobile games. And in 2017, we discovered non-fungible tokens, potentially the key to what eventually will be known as the metaverse, and so went all in since then. The reason why digital uh, property rights is so important is because it actually really is the way that we live in the real world. Imagine in the physical world if all of us living on this planet didn't actually have any property rights. What did it actually mean? We would be ruled by others, we would be slaves to others. In the digital world today, we have the same effect. We don't own our data. Who owns our data? It's Facebook, it's Amazon, it's Tencent. Every time we play a game, we actually make the network richer, we give them the network effect, and we make them money. As a central platform controls our data rights, they also control what we should see. It no longer serves a particular end user individually, it serves the purpose of the platform. How do I make most money? And the metaverse, if it is to be fair and true and open, needs to be one that's owned by its community and not by the big platforms. Decentralization isn't just about having sort of a community ownership. It's about ensuring that the power distribution is somewhat distributed so that abuse cannot happen. What is actually happening here is really just the fair monetization of a player's time. Because right now, we have 2.7 billion people who play games you know, on a regular basis. They spend all this time for free in a game, but they don't get paid for it. So that means that every one of us has the capacity now to actually create our own capital. I mean, just imagine what happens to the music world if actually musicians actually have agency over their own music for the first time. I think what will happen in a world like this is diversity will flourish, which I think is really important for continued creative capital to grow. In the metaverse, as it were, when you're buying a skin in a game or when you're showing off your item, if you, as it were, what are you actually doing? In the past, you would wear an expensive dress, maybe to go to a gala and be seen by press. But now, being seen by your fellow gamers is more valuable because that's where you hang out. Right? So as the space evolves digitally, in fact, so does the value.